check out this parking lot absolutely full of brand new or very new to market johnny lightning die cast approximately 164 scale this is some of the best of this past summer and fall 2022 that i've collected opening up 29 individual die cast vehicles in this video first we're going to take a look at each of the cars in their packaging as well as Fresh sealed unboxings with a white lightning coming out and pretty much of one of my favorite castings as well. We've got everything from sports cars to classic cars, even some American military vehicles here. Some Hummer H1s with the dusted and non-dusted versions. Stay tuned towards the end of the video as we check out each of those up close in loose condition. And, uh, of course, you're going to see all of these other exquisite vehicles in the background. Some with some new models, those uh, Nissan 300ZX being one of them. Something I'm quite excited about. And check out the project in progress. Let's take a close look at all of these vehicles now. Welcome back, Diecast Collectors. Today, we are looking at Johnny Lightning product. This is all 164 scale cars I have collected over the entire summer. So we've got a lot to look at. Several different series. Muscle Cars, USA, Wheeled Warriors. Not all series are complete, although I do have four uh, freshly broken sealed boxes in the background that we'll look at as well. Um, but just a smattering of things that we're looking at today. Zingers. Check this out, 73 Chevy Cheyenne 10 Fleetside Red Line, all jacked up. And the uh, Johnny Lightning Off-Road with that 69 Chevy K10 Blazer roof rack and jerry cans. Very cool. Everything you see here getting opened up for the full loose review. And we've even got uh, Street Freaks Demolition Derby. Always a player on these. Any Demolition Derby vehicles that Johnny Lightning makes, I will buy. And I really, really, really wish that other automotive die-cast scale makers like Auto World and Greenlight would make these uh, themes. I don't know. Like, it's not a copyright. It's just a demolition derby. Just make this stuff. We'll buy it, won't we? Like, leave, chime in in the comments if you'd like to buy some demolition derby stuff. Um, Johnny Lightning used OK Cars, another super cool series. These are duplicates. I know I have a sealed case back there of the OK car. So we're going to see everything in that collection uh, as well. These here are the newest, the classic gold Nissan 300 ZX or ZX. If you are American here in Canada, I say ZX. And I actually own this car. This is an 84 Nissan 300 ZX. And it has the um, the slick top, I should say. There's no T-roofs, which is just like mine. Those are the hardest cars to find in my experience. I mean, they even made the thing a slick top. Like most of these cars to this day that I've seen are T-top. This is the naturally aspirated 1984 Nissan 300ZX, my driver. And we're zoomed a little bit in too far here. She's parked a little bit uh, in a tough spot, but check out the wheels are even the same. All right, so now we are back inside. Let's see what we've got in these boxes before we get going too far into this uh, video series. I think we've got like version A and B. So yes, we have A, you can see right there, uh, 06A and 06B. That's a color variation. So let's see what we've got. This is the OK Car collection and uh, I have actually not opened these up yet. So they've still got their paper in between. But we're going to take all six out. And like I said, everything is going to be removed from its packaging for a full loose review as this video goes. It's going to be a big video because look at how many cars we're looking at. So there we go. That is the uh, 76 Plymouth Volare Road Runner. Uh, super cool car opening hood. So we're definitely opening one of those up because I've got a couple of them already. Check this one out. Oh, wow. 78 Chevy Monte Carlo. Should have bought duplicates of this one, too, if I had the chance. Uh, and, of course, you can pause on the information. There's lots of cool information about the cars um, themselves, which 
makes it hard for me to open the packaging, but truly just super cool cars. Look at this one. We've got the uh, 91 Chevy Camaro Z28 1LE. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. That was like a car I actually dreamed of owning when I was a youngster. And uh, there could be a white lightning in here. I don't actually even know. I haven't even checked yet. Here we have another one. 97 Pontiac Firebird uh, Trans Am WS6. What does that mean? I don't know. Super cool, though. And, of course, you can pause there, too. I'm not going to read all this stuff. We just don't have time. Look at this one. Wow. Different uh, different additions uh, amount to produce. Still a lot of them being produced. 63 Ford Galaxy 500. Uh, tuxedo black, I would say. Got those dog dish hubcaps. And a uh, very heavy car. I've noticed Johnny Lightning is uh, sticking more towards the 164 scale kind of cars in their later uh, released lineups. Check this one out. 73 Pontiac Grand Am. Absolutely gorgeous casting. Metallic blue. And it doesn't actually say 164 scale on the uh, package anywhere, but just from uh, having collected cars as extensively as I have, Green Light Auto World, which are for sure 164 scale, uh, I'm starting to get an eye for what is what, and I know enough about cars that I'm not overly confused. So anyways, let's look at uh, case code uh, B. This is a secondary color. Same cars, but different color in the package. And we're just doing that so that we can see what has been written on the packaging. Oh, and we got a white lightning. Yes, sir. Check it out. Look at that. 76 Plymouth Blair Roadrunner. Good thing I bought duplicates. Um, that is the silver. It should be silver. Got two of those we already saw. And there is the white lightning. That is a full white lightning. White paint on the base. White tires. White body. To think this has been sitting in the box for about two or three months. I mean, that is how long it's taken me to get to this video. And I apologize for that. I mean, heck, I've just been so busy this summer. Wow, is that ever exciting, though? Very exciting. Here we have the alternate of that 73 Pontiac Grand Am. It's in a nice uh, Mesa, Mesa tan. Mesa tan. Very cool. So we won't be opening the White Lightning, guys. But thankfully, I ordered two duplicates of the Silver Cloud Poly um, Plymouth Volare. So we're not going to have a problem there. There could be more. we still got two more boxes to open up. Uh, and here we have, this was black before the Champagne Poly with white walls on that 634 Galaxy 500. Super cool. So you can see there's a bit of a paint or a card art difference. Uh, you got the version A has the dark version of uh, card art. And then you got the light here for version B. We got a beautiful uh, all black, very cool looking 97 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. With chrome five spokes. Oh man, what a nice collection. It is a very nice collection. It's gonna be hard to open these up because you know what? I'm gonna use a razor knife to open these because I'm actually gonna save the card art. I just I like all the information. It's a bit of like a library sort of thing, but if you rip off the blister pack, it's just gonna make a huge mess. So uh we won't I won't pain you with the opening of these cars. So I'm going to do it off camera with a razor blade and you're just going to see them in the package and then out of the package. So it's up to you if you collect these sort of things, what you want to do as far as uh, collecting in the package or out of the package. I just simply do not have enough space to keep the cards in the package. And honestly, I like to get them out of the package on the walls. I like to uh, review them with you guys. Loose review. As I do with everything, basically. So here we have the uh, 164 scale Sam Salvage Yard Diorama Junkyard. There's going to be some Johnny Lightnings going in there. This does not mean that these cars are junk. It's just somewhere where I can truly appreciate them for, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months. Since we are on a roll with the cardboard box unboxing, let's open up these two sets. This is the Classic Gold 
2022 release two, and we've got color code B and color code A. So let's uh, start with that. Uh, included in this set is going to be the Demolition Derby truck. And I think we may have some other uh, Nissan 300ZXs in here. I'm not sure yet, but look at this car. Project in progress. That's going to be hard to open. I don't know if I'm going to open that one. That is beautiful. I have a huge collection of pro Project in progress cars. And uh, that's going to be a hard one to open for sure. So uh, that one may stay in the package actually because I like the uh, the packaging. It would be sweet to get it out for a full loose review. Check out how awesome the weathering is on this car. 69 Chevy El Camino. Should have bought two of that had I been given the opportunity. In fact, this whole Street Freaks, this is the Street Freaks set so no classic gold nissan 300x will not be in here um just super cool cars we've got the uh triple 20 and this is the dodge dart 1970 dodge dart swinger very cool paint job not a white lightning that's okay though what else we got oh wow i mean the artwork is fantastic on these cars uh, Black with Flames is part of that series. We've got Release 4, 1993 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. That's going to be a hard one to open as well. Ah, yay. Why do you guys have to make the artwork so pretty? And then we've got that Demolition Derby truck. So we are opening up one of those guaranteed because I've got two of those trucks. I did buy a second. And, uh, you know, I wish I had enough money to buy two sets of these one to keep in the package one open you guys but just can't do it there's just too much stuff out there to buy uh chevrolution we've got the 66 chevy chevelle this is like the high raker zingers version all customized out super cool Looks like we got one more of those. Oh my goodness. Save the best for last. Check it out. Look at this. White Lightning Pearl and Zinger Teal on this uh, 62 Chevy Impala Coupe. Very cool. My God. Can I even open these? I don't even know. Like I said I was opening everything. I, I had not explored these boxes yet. Everything that you see out of the box... Sure, I'll open up. But wow, I'm having a hard time with this stuff. I'm oh, it's so beautiful. Let's see what we've got in version code B. Uh, we've got the uh, release two. There's your version B of the uh, 62 Plymouth Savoy Max Wedge. Did we see that car already? Am I imagining things, or did that car not present itself? So no, it didn't. Maybe it's a different uh, case code. I do not know. That is a very cool car. Look at this engine in the background. Um, you can pause on all that if you want. Super, super cool car. Got a white wall in the front. Lettered car tire on the back. So definitely not the same. This is the classic gold series. I'm just realizing we've got the classic gold collection. Uh, release two of that Mazda 82 Mazda RX-7. Super cool. Check out the defrost lines on it. Gonna have a lot of trouble opening these cars, to be honest. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness. 86 Ford Mustang SVO. Wow. Look at the paint job, the realism on this car. Um, absolutely gorgeous artwork with an airplane in the background. I can't open these. What am I talking about? I'll open the rest of the cars with you guys. The ones I, I pointed out already, but like seriously, these are just beautiful. And why, where's my alternate case? I need the alternate color. Um, ah, Johnny Lightning, you got me. The 69 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Check out the details on this car. I don't necessarily need to open them because I love the cardboard. I wish all manufacturers of diecast 
just to this cardboard print. Yes, it's more fragile. Yes, it's more susceptible to damage. That's all the more reason to make it collectible. So if you take care of your collection, you know, it should be worth more. And, ah, uh, there it is. The 300 ZX. That's my car. So I did get the uh, a couple of the gold version. But I did not get the whole case. What was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking? This is the first release. Hello. This is the first release of our all-new 84 Nissan 300ZX casting. Extremely rare. Can we... Only a handful of dark green metallic Nissan 300ZX are known to have made it to the North American market. Super cool. I have to read this one because like, I actually own this car. Um, this is our... Yeah, so same thing. 300ZX had the Z31 chassis designation. It was introduced in 83 for the 84 model year. That's true. Mine actually has the Datsun and the Nissan badging on the back. All the way around, in fact. Uh, because before 84... Before 84... Uh, Nissan was Datsun. So, Nissan got absorbed by Datsun. Or Datsun got absorbed by Nissan. And, uh, you know, that's history. Very cool car. Very iconic car. Back in the day, that car was worth like $55,000 brand new. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous like oh man it's such a cool car i love it i'll never get rid of it uh here we have the 2012 chevy corvette z06 i actually would be in the market for a newer corvette uh z06 i i, I could see myself driving something like that i'm not going to get rid of the nissan but i could definitely see myself in a z06 as well Okay, so what we're going to do is take one last look at the uh, packaging for the vehicles we have not looked at yet close up. Uh, as you can see, I have the uh, rollout mat, my razor blade. I'm going to cut the cars off their package off camera, so we don't need to look at that. And uh, we've got the used OK cars full vehicle set, all, all 12 of them getting opened up. And uh, so I'll do that next time you see them they're going to be loose parked on the parking lot but first let's check out the packaging on the uh two car sets because we're just going to spin them around and have a look the wheeled warriors i haven't bought any more since and uh this older uh muscle cars usa not classic gold actually it's not a classic gold set just a muscle car set so i wish i'd picked up more of those but i did not Let's take a look at them quick before we cut them open. Okay, so the first ones we are going to look at are the Muscle Cars Series uh, die-cast vehicles. The 1980 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Got in red. You can uh, pause on that if you want. We're going to get the light a little closer here. See if we can do it a little better. And uh, you can find out about that. Then we've got in metallic blue or bright blue poly appears to have an opening hood and uh, some information about it as well so that is the back of the packaging there's other cars you could have collected release one so I did miss a lot of cars from this one but do you know what you just cannot buy everything as much as you'd want to I'm just not quite wealthy enough to do that, and I do not have the space, so I just buy what I really, really like, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Uh, so next we got the, uh, what is this, a 65 Pontiac Catalina 2 Plus 2 Royal Bobcat. Super cool wheels. Awesome paint job, and there's the information about it. Uh, they've got this like kind of mellow yellow sort of version on the front of the packaging now the back is going to be the same as every other packaging in the set and then here we have it in uh, montero red very cool opening hoods of course you can pause there and see about the pontiac feel and ride royal bobcat very 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 cool car now i've only got one there was a white alternate version of this 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Why did I not get the alternate? This is an incredible car. And uh, should have definitely bought the alternate. But anyways, I did not. 
And so here, here we have it. Uh, you can check out the uh, information on that. These are all getting opened up, of course. We got uh, six more cars to look at. Let's look at the Wheeled Warriors. What's on the back here? We've got uh, collect all six, release one. So you got like all these different uh, war vehicles. And then you can pause there as well. Read about Giant Lightning rolls out these Wheeled Warriors. Celebrate the true heroes that drove them through the dirt, mud, sand, and snow. Yada, yada, yada. Check it out, though. we got weathering. I really went for the H1. And you can see the battle facts on it. So we're going to be opening those up. I don't know that those are true 164 scale, but I think they're pretty close. And they are super, super cool. So there you have a little bit of information. That is from the Series 1. Release 1. And then we're looking at Release 2 with the red background packaging. Same trucks, exact same trucks, different paint jobs. As usual, when you see Release A and B, um, I just, like I said, only H1s. I didn't go for any other vehicles. I thought these were the coolest. And so, therefore... That is why we are seeing the same vehicles twice, but with different paint jobs. Absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to get these opened up. Uh, Zingers and Off-Road is the last of the two vehicles we're going to look at today. So we've got the Zingers 2-pack. Uh, this is going to be opened up, so you're not going to see it in the package again. We've got the 2011 Chevy Camaro. Just crazy looking car, and of course the 73 Chevy Cheyenne 10 fleet side. Uh, also crazy looking truck. A little bit of an information on that. And uh, there's a white lighting on the back, sweet. 2% uh, of our entire production run are white lighting, so it's pretty rare to get a white lighting. They are the one manufacturer, Johnny Lightning, that actually tells you what the percentage is of a chase vehicle i mean i don't know that hot wheels tells you how many treasure hunts there are i don't know that Greenlight tells you how many green machines there are or even auto world how many uh red chases there are but johnny lightning tells you you are getting a white lightning two percent of the time which is nothing barely anything it's, it's amazing to get any at all so i bought this two pack as i had said before for the 69 chevy k10 blazer Super cool. The Hummer H1 looking fantastic, though, with this uh, kind of, uh, I imagine it to be a wrap or a livery. 2004, that's oh, H2, never mind. So, we're going to get all the rest of the vehicles to open up. This is going to be a bit of a video. Hope you enjoy. Let's get these cars out on the parking lot. Now that we have everything out of the package, let's go in for a closer look at each of these models. We're just going to scan by them. Uh, no need to repeat myself, but very authentic wheels and paint jobs. Uh, might as well take a look at the engine if we have enough lighting in there. Very detailed. Very cool. Most of these models do have opening hoods. Not all of them stay open on their own. But I absolutely love these models from Johnny Lightning. And everything from the newer cars to the older cars. They've got it spot on. Try to stay in focus on one row at a time so the camera is not hunting in and out of focus, which can get a little bit blurry. There's another one of my favorite models. Just love seeing this one out of the package. Awesome curves and lines of that car. And we've got those Trans Ams. For some reason, the hood on the blue one is not closing perfectly. Might be able to do some adjustments to that. But as you can see, just peeking under the hood of the Mustang. Blue painted motor with lots of details peeking through. And the alternate colors here for many of those classic cars that we just cruised by. Really liking this black and red combo on the Monte Carlo. Extremely cool. And the black Trans Am. Firebird. Got those zingers over there. 
That Camaro is pretty wild looking. Mainly bought that set for the uh, Chevy Cheyenne, of course. The big metal engine. We've got the Demolition Derby truck. And now into a line of Hummers. The Hummer H1. Oh, we missed the Blazer. How could we miss the Blazer? That's an awesome casting. These Hummer H1s are fragile, but check out the detail on them. From the paint job and dusting to all of the accessories. Mostly die cast metal, but quite a few plastic parts as well to complete that detail. All with metal chassis. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the review of these Johnny Lightning models. I certainly did enjoy reviewing them for you guys. And now to find where are they going in the collection. Well, a few of them are going to head over to Sam's Salvage Yard here just to add in the decoration for a little while. It may not be permanent, but uh, always nice to try to find a home for some of those cars. Anyways, if you're after any of these, of course, as always, happy hunting. We'll see you in the next video.